Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I've arrived in Markarth. It's one of my first contracts, official contracts, for the Dark Brotherhood. I've altered my appearance, merging both Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild armor together so that I get the best of both worlds. Increased weapons damage and sneak ability. So let's look at the parchment and see what... Uh, Astrid wants me to do. She's given me my first major contract. I'm to contact Muri, the apothecary's assistant in the Hag's Cure in Mark Hearth. Muri has apparently performed the Black Sacrament and is trying to contact us. All right, let's see where this woman is. Is she outside the gates? Oh, she's in silver blood. Okay. Come on in. The silver blood inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Hail, companion. Nuri, are you in here? You want a drink? No, I want you to get out of my way. I should remind you to clean this place up. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brotherhood has come, Nuri. The Dark Brother... Oh, oh, I... My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked? Obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I'll need more to go on than that. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. <laughs> They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. <laughs> it's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. <laughs> Bandits. Oh, how I love killing bandits. It will be done! Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. Hmm. People are never satisfied. What is it? I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. Hmm. It's not enough just to kill one person. People. I'm afraid I just don't understand why you're just so ruthless and corrupt. But tell me the full story. Why do you want Elaine dead? I went to Windhelm to see the Shattershields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning. Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. 
He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of monster. Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. And Nils seen Shatter Shield? Why must she die? Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nilsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No, they treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nilsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. You're joking, right? You just said that the woman was like a sister to you and now you want her dead? Are you insane? Yes, that is a rhetorical question, that w of which obviously you can't answer. Is there anything else? I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine, too. But lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. A lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it. Then... You get the idea. Sure, why not? Make them all... Oh, yeah, whatever. What they've done to me. Wah, wah, wah. I should just kill you and... Put this on the house. Is this really what the Dark Brotherhood does? Kill people for whininess? <laughs> that Elaine, he certainly should die. He's abandoned. But the woman that was like a sister to her? You know what, I hope maybe after I've killed those two, I'll kill her as well just for annoying me. Oh, that's right. My horse died in my uh, latest adventure possible to buy another one? Hello, Vigilance. Oh my god, I can't see a damn thing. Oh, there. Um. Okay, what? You need a reliable horse. I do. You treat a horse well, it'll take you to oblivion and back. Okay, well, I killed the last one by accident. Can I buy another one? Got one all saddled and ready to go. What are you willing to pay? Whatever you want. Here's my offer. One thousand gold. Sounds fair. She's yours. Thank like you. I said, she's all saddled. Right. May the crags fail to trip your feet. She looks just like the last horse I had. Giddy up. Ha! Okay, let's see. Where are we going? Okay, who should we kill first? Guess we'll just go to Windhelm. I've arrived in Windhelm. I think it's a bit too early to be killing. 9.40 in the morning. It's probably going to be best that I wait until nightfall. Let's see if I can scout my target and find out more about her. Mm, this murder scene. She's somewhere in the area, too. Can I rush through here? Here 
she is. Have a few drinks. Chat it up with the locals. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I still can't believe Isabella's gone. She was such a helpful you. young lass. You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash. Hmm. I don't like your attitude. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? One hundred septum say I can punch you back where you came from. You're on. All right. Fists only. None of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. You're just gonna stand there and take it right back! Okay. Mm, I've got my magic ring, though. Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on! Twelve symptoms on the big one. Stop that! That wasn't a fair swing. Fight, fight! You lost. Give me my money. Redguard, where did you come from? Let me get the hell out of here. This isn't how I plan to spend my day. Oh, hell. Everybody's against me now? Since when was fist fighting? I did not even pull a weapon. I'm with the guild. Is this enough to clear my bounty? I can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. What do you say? Yes, clear my bounty. Done. Now move along before you get me in trouble. Hmm. That was certainly interesting. All right, all this. Look, is this this bastard that I was fighting or is this somebody else? This is him. Yeah. Maybe you haven't heard, but the Thieves' Guild is back. Windhelm is their city now, if you catch my meaning. Um, as the guild master, I absolutely understand what you mean. You, dude, you're in trouble. We, we have a score to settle. You're lucky these guards are walking around. Mm-hmm.
right, that should take care of that. What the? He's alive? Who are you? An amulet of Mara? You're not married? <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> Interested in me, are you? I am. I'd be glad to stand by your side until the divines take us. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. I'm not interested. I see. Hmm, he can't be killed for whatever reason. Let's get out of here. Contract goes as badly as this day has been. This is gonna be a long night. All right, let's see what time it is. All right, twelve fifty. Okay, now should be a good time. Hmm. I try to keep Grimbar safe, but these are dangerous times. scene. That takes care of Nilsine. Now let's get to my next destination. Hmm, already? Enough. Now ain't this somehow I don't think that was close enough. But this is all right, so let's see what else is up here.
looks like this is my destination. Really roasting this skeever? Well, it's, I guess that's a good use of the flame jets. I didn't kill it with one hit, really. Well, I know I'm going to need some potion for cure disease now. That is that is unbelievable. That should have been a sneak attack. Do I use the lever here to trigger the... Really? Uh, I think we'll just have to do this our way. To me, my bow.
Actually, let's put some poison on this. Takes care of Defont. Now let's see about his friends. Just Bane, okay. Might as well go ahead and enjoy some of their efforts. switch here to turn off the fire. Okay, it turned off on its own. Good. Alright, let's get out of here. in here. Uh, well, we'll do that. That's just uh, delivering someone's book. Can do that another time. Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, <laughs> shouted him apart. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. You want a drink? Oh, God, you again now. I should remind Clepper to clean this place up. Well, well, what news? Is Elaine? I'm gonna have a seat first. Well, what news? Is Elaine? Elaine DeFont now lies dead. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. <laughs> and 
I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment, and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. <laughs> oh, the poor woman. All right, I need to report back to Astrid. It's a fine day with you around. Why, thank you, ma'am. Oh, you're the person that I just worked for. Hmm. Okay. Might have to come visit you. But who knows, you could put out a contract on my life. That's actually a bad idea. Alright, let's get back to... The Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Astrid, I'm home. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? A bit, but only because of mishaps on my part, fighting in bars and whatnot. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? I did what had to be done, nothing more. Well, actually including the bar fighting, and then killing the person that started the fight on the bridge to Windhelm, and then he was miraculously alive. Then he seemed to be interested in me because I was wearing an amulet of Mara. Well, anyhow, you don't need to hear all that. Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature is something wrong it's Cicero oh god ever since he arrived his behavior's been well erratic would be an understatement I do believe he is truly mad but it's worse than that he's taken to locking himself in the night mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones who is he speaking with what are they planning? I fear treachery. Hmm, <laughs> Astrid. Don't you think you're being a bit... paranoid? Maybe so. But healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before. And my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. So... I can't stand him as much as anybody else here. What do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Hmm. Disrespectful, that seems really disgusting. No objections then? Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Is there anything else I should know? I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. And make haste. You must be in place before Cicero and his... ally arrive. They could be planning another meeting any time. What do you think Cicero was planning? Isn't it obvious? As the Night Mother's Keeper, 
He believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. Ironically, the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim, a queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. Any idea who would conspire with Cicero? That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door, and the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. <laughs> God, inside Any one coffin. of us could enter that chamber oh, silently, and inside the chamber. unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? The very thought breaks my heart. And what can you tell me about yourself? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. Oh, I like that. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Armbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. Interesting. Go, quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. All right, well, next time we will go Why and are you infiltrate still Cicero. Hurry, the meeting begins. Yeah. Thank you.